you might notice a certain holiday vibe to the music, and that's because we didn't realize when we rolled up to GCS Park to see the Gateway Grizzlies that it was Christmas in July. The ballpark's a very fan-friendly experience with lots of dynamic seating options for all types of views. From the covered concourse to the suite levels named after famous ball players, you get a good spot to see the game anywhere in the park. Of note is the turf pitcher's mound. Lots of independent clubs have turf saves on upkeep of the field, and the pitching mound being turf as well allows the mound to be easily moved so if they have a little league game they can move the pitcher's mound up if need be. Just like many other independent ballparks, you've got berm seating. What I really like though is some of these outfield seats off to the right that pinch really close to the foul line. When looking at the berm, I noticed how much lower the wall is even at some of the AAA parks we've been to. Now we didn't really mean to, but we stumbled in for Christmas in July, and really it was so much fun to already be hearing Christmas music echoing throughout the park. The big guy himself was on site, and they even already had a toy drive. Jessica went and got a cute little stuffed animal and made a donation to the drive. I think we were the first ones. This is Izzy the Grizzly, the excellent mascot of the Gateway Grizzlies. Look at those moves. Like many independent teams, lots of fun between innings, including this hilariously awkward boxing match. Now, one of the highlights of the culinary parts of the Gateway Grizzlies is what they call the best burger in the world. It is a bacon cheeseburger with Krispy Kreme donuts as the bun. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be into it, but I took one bite and the sweet and the savory mix was incredible. We had a really great time at the Gateway Grizzlies, and if you're living in the St. Louis area, you are really so close that you owe it to yourself to get out and check out a ball game at one of the best independent environments we've been to.